G'day folks, today in this video I'm going to show you how to use the Mavic Air with the DJI Goggles Racing Edition. Now these steps will also work if you own the original version of the Racing Goggles. Um, the steps are pretty well the same. Now if you've just purchased a pair of the uh, Racing Edition Goggles or you've just purchased the Air and you'd like to uh, fly them FPV style, you must update the firmware on the Racing Edition Goggles before it will work. If you try to plug the Mavic Air in directly uh, without updating, you won't have any video transmission. All you have to do is download the uh, DJI Assistant 2 app onto a laptop or a computer. You plug in the goggles and the app will recognize them right away and prompt you to update the firmware. I'll maybe just show you a little quick uh, demonstration here. So now we're going to update the firmware via the DJI Assistant 2. Now make sure you have the latest version of DJI Assistant. Uh, if you don't, it won't recognize the Racing Edition goggles properly. Uh, so you can download that from the DJI website. I'll include the link down in the description of uh, where you can download it from. So what we're going to do basically now is we're going to power on the goggles. Side button. Double press like most DJI products. Now we're going to plug the micro USB end into the band there. Uh, the charging port and it's also the data port. So now we're going to plug the USB-A into a laptop or desktop. And once we've done that, we're going to launch the DJI Assistant 2 app. It's got the goggles there. We just click on them and it's going to show us the different uh, firmware versions that are available. Uh, this is the latest version and uh, we need that to make it compatible with the uh, Mavic Air. Now it's telling us it's going to take about five minutes. So we're going to hit start upgrade and I'm going to go ahead and fast forward and skip all this because you don't need to watch that. I'll be back in a minute. I'll also include the link down below if you don't have the DJI Assistant 2 app uh, where you can download it from the DJI website. So now once you've got your firmware updated and you're ready to go, uh, it's time to connect everything. Now when flying, uh, it's important to know that the, uh, the system can only connect to one display at a time. So if you've got it connected to a smartphone, uh, that'll first, I should say, uh, that'll be the primary display and that's what's going to display the image. Now when flying you don't even need to hook a smartphone up into the remote, but I like to and I'll show you my uh, my steps on, on how I do it. Uh, so we'll just uh, put everything together and boot everything up like we normally would if we were just going to fly the Mavic Air with a smartphone. So the green light's on, we now have a connection between the remote and the aircraft. So we'll launch our DJI GO 4 app. So as you can see we've got everything connected here. Now we're going to turn on our goggles and we'll just let them boot up now I don't know if I can if you can see there you can see there's no uh, no transmission yet just the blank screen so we're just gonna plug in our micro USB cable to the goggles now at this point what I'm going to do is unplug the side USB cable to disconnect the phone. Now I'm going to plug in the other end of the USB cable from the goggles to the bottom port on the controller. And if everything's done correctly, we should now have a feed on the goggles. And yes we do. It's hard to see on this phone, but uh, we've got a feed there. So that is my setup procedure, and that's how I like to do it. Now, the reason I like having it set up like that is because if I ever want to have a view on the phone again, it's as simple as unplugging the goggles, plugging this one back in, and uh, you'll see here in a minute, it'll just come right back up, and there we go. So then I can just continue flying it uh, the way I was. And the reason why that comes in handy is if, if you ever just need to quickly go back to uh, a standard view, get the goggles off, um, you can just switch those cables around and bang, you've got uh, full view on your smartphone again. So, and like I said, uh, this will work whether you're using the standard edition uh, DJI goggles or the racing edition. Uh, it works both the same way. Well, folks, that's basically it. Pretty simple. Uh, that's how I like to uh, set things up when I'm flying with my DJI goggles. Uh, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this video useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.